Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is image compression. In this video, introduction to image compression, two types of compression that is lossless and lossy, and fundamentals of compression that is compression ratio and relative data redundancy is covered. Now let us start. Data compression is the process of reducing the size of data that is using the fewer bits by encoding the data efficiently. It saves storage space and improves transmission speed speed by reducing the resource consumption. The design of data compression schemes therefore involves trade-off among various factors such as degree of compression, the amount of distortion introduced if we are using a lossy compression scheme and the computational resources required to compress and decompress the data. Data compression achieves a smaller file size measured by the compression ratio. This saves storage space and speed up the transmission. Compression standard like JPEG and MP3 fueled the multimedia revolution. It also powers archive tools like ZIP and ARJ which saving the storage space. Overall, compression reduces the file size for efficient storage and transmission. While compression saves the space and bandwidth, decompression can add processing overhead. This can be a drawback for application like real-time video playback where fast decompression is crucial. So generally image and video they are the asymmetric application means compression is only for once and decompression for multiple times. Benefits of compressed images Smaller size, more storage, faster loading and save resources. So when smaller size is there so image takes up less space on our devices and website. When smaller size is there we can store more pictures faster loading image load quicker on website and apps and they use less storage space and internet bandwidth. Two types of compressions are there lossless and lossy. Lossless compression a process that reduces the size of data without losing any information. The original data can be perfectly reconstructed from the compressed data. It is used for the critical data where accuracy is very much important for example text document source code medical images, financial data. Lossy compression, a process that reduces the size of data significantly but allows for some permanent loss of information. While the original data cannot be perfectly reconstructed, the loss is often imperceptible to the human eye or ear. Applications used for data where some loss is acceptable in exchange for much smaller size such as image, image audio and video. Comparison between lossless and lossy compression Lossless, reversible that is with no loss of information we can get original data as it is from the compressed format. Lossy compression non-reversible with loss of some information. Here a new image is identical to the original image after decompression. A new image is approximately identical to the original image after decompression means not exactly same because some data is permanently lost. Reversibility is necessary in most image analysis application. Lossy compression is often used in image communication video etc. The compression ratio is typically 2 to 10 times and the compression ratio is typically 10 to 30 times. Try to reduce coding and interpixel redundancy and here we try to reduce the psychovisual redundancy. Examples are Huffman coding, run length coding, arithmetic coding are the example of lossless compression and in lossy compression JPEG, MPEG, improved grayscale quantization, vector quantization comes. Now see this is the image. So the image is of 5 by 5. We can see that the all horizontal the pixels is 0. In the next row all 100. 150, 200, 255. If we are using this image as uh, storing without any compression, so size of the original image is 25 into 8 bits, that is nothing but the 200 bits. So, therefore, original image size is 25 bytes or 25 into 8, that is equal to 200 bits. If we can see that the image having horizontal redundancy because this particular line is entirely same. So if we use run length encoding that is in run length encoding we are using that how many times that particular pixel is repeated. So here 5 times 0 is repeated. So we are storing this all information instead of 5 bytes in, in, 
instead of 5 bytes only using 2 bytes so one byte is for that 5 count and second byte is for the value that is nothing but pixel value 0 next 5 times 100 is repeated so we are using again 2 bytes first byte is for 5 and second byte is for 100 number in this way we can store each row information instead of 5 bytes we are using only 2 bytes so for compressing that all 5 rows we require 10 bytes for each row we require 2 bytes so 5 rows are there so 10 bytes now the compressed image size is 10 bytes or if we can say the bits it is nothing but the 80 bits now an original image size is 200 bits if we compare 280 then here the compression ratio is 2.5 2.5 means what the uh, compressed image size is 2.5 times smaller than the original and the redundancy that is 60 percent redundancy is there in the data that's why compression is possible here so here for simplicity we applied the run length coding so this is nothing but the lossless compression technique so when at the time of decoding when we want to decode the image so at the decoder side only we are doing that 5 times is 0 repeated so when reconstruction takes place we are replacing 5 times by 0 5 times by 100 5 times by 150 5 times by 200 and 5 times by 255 so in this way at the decoder or at the receiver side image gets reconstructed and no loss of data as it is original image it's constructed now we see the lossless lossy now this is again the image of 5 by 5 so 25 pixels is there and the original image size is 25 bytes or 25 into 8 that is nothing but the 200 bits now if we see the value the values are vary between 0 to uh, minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 9 if we display this image then we can see that all pixel values are related to black color and we can't discriminate between 0 or 1 or 1 or 2 or even we can discriminate between 0 and 9 for our eye or we feel that the color is same that is nothing but black so when we can't discriminate each and every pixel so we can go for the lossy, lossy compression scheme when the data is not that much important so here we can replace the values of all pixel which are having the value between 0 to 9 by any value for example if we replace with the 6 now here we are making the loss that is nothing but the permanent loss here 0 is replaced by 6 1 is replaced by 6 2 is replaced by 6 so their own original value that is 1 is changed to the 6 and which is the permanent but when we convert this image into lossy form we can get the redundancy that is continuously 6 times 25 times 6 values gets repeated so if we apply run length encoding we are using only 2 bytes first byte is for 25 times and second is nothing but for 6 value so original image size is 25 bytes but after compression we are getting the 2 bytes and if we calculate the compression ratio and redundancy here we are getting the compression ratio is 12.5 that is the compressed file is 12.5 than small uh, 5 12.5 times smaller than the original image and the 92 percent redundancy is there so this is achieved because of the lossy compression so when we are using the lossy compression scheme that the data is not important and our vision can't distinguish between the different intensity values because we are feeling that all values are same in color fundamentals of image compression data compression is shrinking the amount of data needed to hold same information that is the fewer word to say the same thing data is the stuff like letters or pixel used to convey information information is the meaning behind the data sometimes data has extra or repeated parts which is like unnecessary words data compression removes these extras and making it smaller like concise sentence so this is nothing but the idea behind the compression now see the example for the compression ratio and related to data redundancy imagine we had two ways to store the same information for example like message so when method one we write a long and detailed message using the hundred words and using compression or using a smart encoding technique we are writing the same message using only 10 words so b is nothing but data and b dash is nothing but data minus redundancy because in compression we are reducing the redundancy therefore data minus redundancy is nothing but the compressed format compression ratio is nothing but b divided by p dash that is original data divided by the compressed data and compressed data is always 
they uh, always nothing but redundancy reduced data so b by b dash so here b is 100 and b dash is 10 so we are getting the compression ratio as 10 and relative data redundancy is nothing but 1 minus 1 by c so 1 minus 1 by 10 we are getting the 0 0.9 so compression ratio is how much smaller the second method compared to the first relative data redundancy how much unnecessary information the first method has compared to the second when c equal to 10 meaning that first method is 10 times bigger than the second or second method is 10 times smaller than the first method we can take any way and r equal to 0 0.9 means that first method has 90 percent redundancy that is unnecessary word therefore using the data compression that is like method to helps eliminate redundancy and store information with fewer bits and this uh, this saves storage space and makes transmission faster now we will see the another example here the original data is of 50 words and the compressed data is of 25 words so we are getting the compression ratio is 50 by 25 equal to 2 and relative data redundancy is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 that is nothing but 0.5 so the meaning is that first method is two times bigger than the second and 50 percent redundancy is there so by using the compression we are uh, removing the redundancy present in the data so similarly when the original and compressed size is given we can easily calculate the compression ratio and relative data redundancy higher c that is compression ratio means the second method is the way smaller so the first method has more redundancy and lower compression ratio means method are similar in size so there is a less redundancy so even by using compression we can't achieve more uh, save, uh, save in a space it may happen that negative compression can happen negative compression if b is less than b dash that is after compression size is more case 2 no compression that is b equal to b dash therefore c equal to 1 and redundancy is equal to 0 compression ratio is 1 implying that there is no redundancy positive compression that is b dash is less than less than b that is highly redundant data so here we can get the good compression and specifically in lossy compression generally this case happens and in terms of uh, uh, negative compression that is for example if we didn't see the pattern in the data and if we apply the compression then at that time it may happen that the data is converted into into the negative compression so this is all about the basic of image compression thank you